Okay, so in general, we like to see the confusion matrix normalized, which means that here we see percentage instead, instead of absolute values of the counts. So let's get back to our code and implement the function that normalizes the confusion matrix. So let's call it normalize confusion matrix. And uh, this is going to receive the regular matrix. Let's say labels equal matrix dot columns. And we're going to create like the out matrix. It's going to start as, a, as an empty data frame full of zeros, right? Like this thing. Let's say here is going to be the out matrix. And uh, instead of number of columns, let's go directly and call it the length of the labels. We can actually do the same here, right? And we can delete that. We need to extract the sum, all the columns. So you wanna use a dictionary there are faster ways to do directly in pandas the division by the sum of the column the problem that whenever we have like a column that sums zero we're going to have troubles getting not a numbers when we make the division so i prefer to make a manual implementation of this where we manage the situation where the sum is zero and just leave a zero in the resulting normalized matrix so we're going to see here an example of what i mean Here we're using a dictionary to keep the sum over the columns starting in zero and now let's iterate So what I'm doing here, I'm calculating the sum over the columns, right? So I start with, for example, the first column here, and then I iterate over the rows and accumulate the value of the matrix. So I am getting the sums over the columns. And now we go over the entries of the matrix and divide by the sum. Let's here add the condition that if the sum of the this column is not zero then we are going to update our own matrix okay so if not then that value will stay as zero and that's fine right Okay, so this is the implementation of the normalization function. So now let's go back to our Jupyter Notebook and uh, import here our new function. Fusion matrix normed is going to be okay. So let's try to plot the norm, the normalized version. Here we go, and you and you can see that now we have percentages. Okay. Okay, now we need to add a few more functions. Uh, let's go back to our code and we need to implement the functions to calculate the precision and recall. So let's call it the get precision recall. And for that, we know we need the confusion matrix. Right? So let's start with initialize dictionaries. We know the precision and recall are indicators of performance per class. So we're going to iterate over the classes. We need the labels again, and the labels are going to be
let's use some momentary recall that is going to be calculated as we saw in the slides. We need to index the confusion matrix in the diagonal position. Remember it was class I, it was position I comma I. And we need to divide by the sum of the column. Right, I'm just implementing the same formula as we saw in the slides in the previous video. And precision is the same here, but the sum is over the row, right? We iterate over the columns. Right, remember that recall was about out of all the elements we had to detect, which means like all the column. And their precision was like every time the model said or predicted the same class. In other words, the row. Okay, so these values are the precision and recall of the given class. So we need to update our general dictionary by adding the class and the value we just calculated. And let's return both dictionaries. Okay, so let's try our new function going back to our notebook. I know I need to import the function first, uh, I'll do it now. Remember, we must use here the regular confusion matrix, not the normalized one. We have a problem here. Let's see what's wrong with the recall. Yeah, this is the, the problem, right? Here we go. Okay, so now let's improve our code to make it prettier and to use more classifiers. So let's try, for example, a decision tree and a support vector machine. So we want to use SVM and uh, from okay, and now we will use a list of models. an SVM so this is the way we call the SVM classifier in scikit-learn let's use a decision function equals OVR which means one versus the rest because remember that the SVM originally is just for a binary classification problem here we have many classes so we need to do one versus the rest This parameter is basically a parameter related with the complexity of the model and it is telling how far the training cases can reach as uh, influencers, let's say. So the farthest one training point reaches, it means it's going to influence more. In other words, have some sort of regulation. And uh, if you go to the documentation of scikit-learn, scale means that it is being regulated by a factor that is related to the number of features.
if you want to learn more, read the documentation of scikit-learn. Okay, so let's try now different classifiers. Classifier performance is going to be the name of the class. Okay, fold cross validation. We're going to implement random subsampling also later, so we will use our generic call here soon. So here's going to be the model, the data, and the parameters. So let's assume those parameters for now. We can start cutting these calls here. The first thing we need to call is the creation of the confusion matrix. This is not necessary anymore. And we can call Let's first normalize. So we're going to put this here as well. Let's plot the normalized version. And now let's call precision recall. We actually can do that here. And uh, we can show the heat map and let's print precision and recall. Let's print the whole dictionary in a kind of like a prettier way. So for example, let's use F strings. We know that there's one value per class. Let's call it P and uh, let's format this a little bit. This is going to be the precision of P and let's use two decimals and this is going to be for p in precision that keys and kind of the same thing for recall Okay, here we go. So as you can see, it is working and it's showing us precision and recall for the different methods. Let's use a title for this. It's going to be method and the method name that we can extract from the model name this way. Dot name. And uh, okay, so we can print. one line we could also set the title for a heat map so we know later so confusion matrix for title and let's use let's use white color for a font okay for I'm sorry is model 